Hey guys, and welcome to another segment of Rouser World. Today, we're going to be doing a quick cartoon drawing of Mr. Beast Mode, Marshawn Lynch. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, first thing that we're going to do is an overall head shape. This is always where we start our drawings at. If you don't get the head shape right, you'll be balling up the paper and throwing it in the trash and getting all mad and stuff. So get your head shapes correct, guys. Practice on that. And uh, that's the first step to being a good cartoon artist. Okay, guys. Uh, first thing we're gonna, next thing we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna just go down the side of the face. We're just gonna define the the jawline here. I'm gonna add some hair on the bottom of the jawline. So when you are talking about a face shape, remember the shape encompasses everything, including facial hair. Okay, so now guys, what I'm doing here is just drawing a little bit of stubble on the side of the face here. Using a quick, uh, I guess you can call a, a short dagger stroke lines. Now I'm just gonna accent or detail the hat part of the drawing. Remember guys, drawing is about how well you see shapes. Every time that I put something on the paper, I'm thinking about what that shape is basically. And as long as I'm somewhere in the ballpark, I'm gonna get it right. You have, you can't think, it, uh, you can't think in terms of uh, too many possibilities when you're drawing. You just have to see that shape and then draw it without second guessing what that shape is in your head. That's when you mess up, when you start saying, well, I don't know, maybe if I, and that's when you start messing up a lot of paper. Trust me, I know. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and do the eyes, guys. So uh, when I'm doing my eyes, I'm also envisioning that I'm drawing on top of a ball. Now, if you notice, his eyes are very, uh, they're one of the focal points of his drawing. Okay, so, what I did was I'm thinking, okay, if I were drawing these eyes on top of a ball, which way would my pen go? How would my my pen behave? And if you do this, uh, even as a, a practice on the side, eventually the information will transfer to the flat sheet of paper. And you will stop looking at things flat, but rather something or a thing that has sides and dimension. Okay, now I'm going to draw the nose here. Another focal point of his drawing. <laughs> this guy has a lot of focal points, right? All right. And then um, I'm just going to uh, accent the nose here. And I'm just going to darken the, the eyebrow or eyelash line. And now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to add the mouth. And I just needed to take a few minutes there or two seconds to kind of examine that shape. Sometimes you got to stop and say, wait a minute. Let me make sure that shape is right in my head. So I guess that kind of goes counter to what I just told you. But uh, I'm the teacher, so don't, don't, <laughs> don't be doing that. <laughs> okay, guys. Now I'm just going to put the hair on the bottom of the chin. And then um, we're going to go ahead and um, put his mustache here. All the darts in the face. And that that's what made this particular drawing, or what makes it pretty easy to draw, is that there's quite a bit of uh, darks in the face. So you can use those eyebrows and that mustache and that goatee and his hair and his hat. So you can use those as kind of like... Uh, like uh, landmarks if you will so you'll know where to put your features at so we're going to add the Adam's apple here 
And then I'm going to go ahead and darken in the eyes just a little bit. Because he has kind of dark eyes. I'm going to accent the roundness of the eyes further. Add just a few lashes, but use them sparingly. And now we're going to go ahead and start drawing the braid shape. Okay. So if you look, what I'm doing here is I'm, once again, remember I was telling you about shapes where hair is no different. When you draw the shape of something, you when you draw something, you want to draw the general shape of the thing first. And then you want to start doing stuff, detailing it in the inside. Think of it like drawing a building. Okay. If you try to draw a building and put the windows first, you'll be there a long time. <laughs> you see what I mean? So you want to draw the shape of the building, then you want to put the windows, then you want to put the doors and stuff like that. Well, cartooning or caricaturing or all art is connected. We all, it all has that one thing in common with life, and that is that you have to see things generally first and then specifically last. Okay? So now, guys, I'm using my art skills marker, and I'm making some braids here. As you can see, I'm making some very simple little braids. It doesn't take a whole lot of It's just something that looks like braids. Okay? So you don't have to stay in here a long time to do this. Like, if I'm drawing on location, a lot of times people don't have uh, 35 or 45 minutes for you to draw that picture. Okay? So, you know, I have to be able to draw this person's picture uh in 10 minutes or five minutes you know sometimes less than that i don't have time to be drawing each individual braid so uh another uh technique or another thing that i'm going to advise you to do those of you guys that are trying to get into cartooning is learn like different tricks of the trade you know as far as uh uh how you can speed your production up and then still make the drawing look good that's the most important thing. You don't want to be giving people a crappy drawing. Okay, guys. So I'm just coloring in my hat here. I use this art skills marker because as you see, it does cover a lot of ground really fast. Okay. So that's another trick of the trade I just showed you. Being able to color very fast and precisely. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Now guys, uh, I have uh, basically a black crayon here. I'm gonna do a little bit of shade work. Um, basically, I'm gonna shade around the eyes. And uh, under the nose. And around the eye again. Remember guys, uh, just a little something I wanted to put out there for you is that when you are, uh, when you draw a, a cartoon, a lot of times, um, things are not what they appear to be from the picture to the drawing. In other words, uh, you have to, it's part knowing how to draw, but it's also part understanding how things are constructed. So if you understand how an eye is constructed or a nose is constructed, um, then it makes it easier for you to be able to cartoon the shape of it if you can understand that so uh here i'm going to go ahead and just darken in uh, the facial hair a little bit more because we want to make sure that really stands out okay let's darken in a little bit more here and now i'm just going to darken in my mustache And I'm just going to darken in the top lip here. Basically, guys, uh, the purpose of, like I said, my channel here is to, uh, I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying to expose you to the information. Now, it's kind of up to you what you do with it. Uh, there's no hidden secrets. There's nothing uh, mysterious about what I do. It's just a lot of practice. I wake up. I draw. I go to sleep. I draw. Um, 
I use the bathroom. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you just draw, you know, all the time. Take a piece of paper with you. Make sure you have that paper and that pen because then you never know when you're going to be inspired to uh, do something. Uh, read a lot of books, guys. Uh, might not seem important to you right now, but reading a lot of books is uh, about drawing. will definitely help you along the way. Um, there's a lot of good artists out there that are uh, giving out, giving away the game, so to speak, in a book. They say you want to hide something from somebody. These days, you just put it in a book. <laughs> no one will ever think to go there, right? All right, so uh, read a lot, guys. Uh, guys, thank you again uh, for watching our video and our tutorial. Uh, we'll be posting more videos and tutorials soon. Um, you guys don't forget to subscribe below and uh oh don't forget to subscribe below you guys have a great day mr marshawn lynch otherwise known as beast mode you guys have a good day